Hey guys, so before we jump into Nest, JS, and Angular, I think it would be a good idea to do a project, um, a simple project, just to get used to TypeScript. Originally, I was going to do a basic intro to TypeScript, going over the essentials, types, interface, class, and decorators, but um, it's not a video that I would watch. I much prefer to jump into a project and learn the language as I go along. So I'm going to be doing that instead. Um, so we're just going to make a simple to-do list type project just so we get um, <clears throat> familiar with the language of TypeScript. And uh, I went and dug up this little project that I did a while ago. So we're going to do, we're going to create a web API that will give the general functionality of this, which is basically a uh, a list of lists. So we just go to, um, I don't know, what, what else is tar there's target, target, and then we could add eggs and milk, and then we can delete stuff as well as the individual stuff. So yeah, let's let's get started. Um, I already went ahead and added the necessary um, things to ignore here. So let's create a git ignore really quick. Touch dot git ignore. Let's open it up. Paste in all of our stuff. Um, let's make sure this is correct because <clears throat> sometimes it doesn't ignore the ignore it with the stars. So that looks good. And let's initialize our git repo. In it, and there's a couple things we need to set up. So, since we're gonna be using TypeScript, all of our code is gonna live inside of the source directory, which we'll do right now. Make source here, and then this ts config file is how we're configuring our compiler to to know what we're doing. So. To quickly go over stuff, um, target is basically the version of JavaScript that we're going to be using um, underneath the additions of TypeScript. So I'm specifying ES next. So basically, the future of JavaScript, the newest newest tech, and all of that. Uh, module is what we're what our what JavaScript is compiled at the end of the day. So after all of our code is written. It, go, it turns into common JS, which is basically um, ES5. Uh, source map is just for debugging purposes. Our output directory is going to be the dist folder. So when we co <coughs> compile our TypeScript, it will all the compiled JavaScript will live in the dist folder, which will be over here. But uh. I don't need that right now, so let's get rid of it. Uh, module resolution is just um, how it's being compiled, I think. I think that's what it's supposed to. I don't know. It's Just just use node. Um, <clears throat> remove comments just removes all of the comments from our compiled uh, JavaScript. And then down here is all the stuff that we need for decorator support, which is still experimental in JavaScript. So you you won't see this in native JavaScript, even the newest version, but it's heavily used in TypeScript, and I want to go over that. <clears throat> and then exclude, of course, is um, what we're uh, not compiling, so everything that lives in the node modules. And then include is all the TypeScript files that we are going to compile. So files that end in .ts and .tsx that also lives in the source directory. <clears throat> okay. So with the configuration out of the way, let's let's make sure to add the correct things. <clears throat> so clear really quick. And <clears throat> first we need. Um, I'm also going to be using Yarn for the package manager instead of npm. 
Um, it's not really a big difference, it's just personal preference. <clears throat> Yarn add, <coughs> excuse me, I need water. Okay, um, <clears throat> so let's just do this. <clears throat> um, uh, do I have to? That's right, I have to init dash y to make our package JSON. And there we go. All of our packages are going to live in here. Uh, which. TS. <clears throat> and now we need to add our um, compilers. So I have it installed globally, so if you want to follow along. Uh, you, you're you going to need TS node, TypeScript, and I believe that is all. But I have those globally, but just for reference, I'm going to add them as dev dependencies, which using yarn as using this command, followed by all the packages that I mentioned. So TS node, TypeScript, uh, yes. <clears throat> okay, and let's make sure we add a some scripts. So, uh, compile is going to be run with the TSC command, um, but we just need a, a start dev. <clears throat> uh, I'm actually going to also add node bond, so node mon uh, yeah oops go away so start dev is going to be node mon exec <coughs> ts node and the file is going to be dot slash source slash index dot ts and of course start the production start is going to just be node of was it dot slash dist slash index dot js and that's going to execute the oh what the hell all right i'll just copy don't say reopen paste okay <clears throat> so the start script is going to start the compiled index.js. All right, and let's create our entry file really quick. So touch source index.ts. And just to see if everything is connected correctly, we're going to do the usual hello world uh, tsc. And uh, TSC is just um, TypeScript compile. And it comes with um, TS node. So there we go. So there's the compiled JavaScript with source map. Um, I don't know if I really like this, but whatever. We'll keep it. <clears throat> and we're also going to ignore the dist from our Git repository. So dot slash this yeah there we go all right it's great that's good um okay so things are connected things are compiled correctly um i'm using the correct execution oh and then to run your files uh without node mod you can just do a ts node followed by the uh, the file, the exact file. <clears throat> so source index.typescript. And TS node just basically means the TypeScript version of node. So this will um, transpile and run your your code without without you needing to compile first. So that will give a hello world. And if we change this to bye and rerun the thing. It'll be updated, but as you can tell, 
our compiled JavaScript is, hasn't been created yet. So uh, normally we just uh, compile right when we're ready to deploy or or when we're ready for production. All right. Um, so this is going to be an Express application. So we need to add Express. <clears throat> And I think I'm just going to run through just the normal setup of Express. Oh, right. Yarn add Express. There we go. And then because we're in TypeScript, we need we also need the types for Express. So that would be yarn add dash D for dev dependency. And then types Express. And most packages have a have a types uh, package that goes along with it that lives in the at types uh, package. So actually, we also need node to make sure we know what we're doing. So let's see. So express and node. So we'll have the corresponding rules for these things. And let's let's make an express server. So I'm actually gonna do uh, I'm actually gonna create the server in a different file. So let's uh, touch source server dot ts. Here we go. And let's import express from express. And you'll notice that there's a little red line. That's because since we're in TypeScript, it's a lot more strict. And with this syntax, it's saying that Express doesn't have a default export. So the way around that is just we're going to get everything, and we're going to alias it as Express. And this is essentially the same thing as doing const Express equals require Express. but um, if you do it this way, you don't get the, the added benefit of the types and linting. So let's just, uh, uh, what is it? Oh, you have to make a instance of express, so express. And we have to also do an app.listen. Um, let's go with 8080 today. Um, actually, I want to I want to do this in a async function. So let's do this and move this up. App dot listen console dot log. Um, <clears throat> server started on at HTTP colon slash last localhost colon uh, port. All right, port is not defined yet, so we can't do that. And then just do a little log of saying uh, press control plus C to quit. And do I have to await this? I don't know. Let's, let's figure that out. Uh, we actually, we could export this as a. What do I want to call it? Start server? Sure, I guess. All right, let's make sure we export this. And import it here. Start server from dot slash server. And just do a. Alright, so let's clear this. And yarn start dev, I believe, is the start script that I created. Alright, cool. So things are working correctly. Let's. Let's actually add stuff to this so that I'm going to change this to server. 
boop, 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 server. Okay, um, let's actually add routes to this so that we could actually um, test it in in our browser. So app dot get slash um, request. Oh my god, that's not what I wanted. Request response. That's all I need right now. Res dot json. Hello world. All right. So start dev. Go in here. Local host eighty eighty. And hello world. All right. So our server is up and running. Um. Do do do. Now you can start adding types everywhere, so this is technically an express dot application, and this is getting express express dot application um, is coming from the express the app types express yeah <laughs> I'm sorry the express types that we've installed in here and I could highlight here. Um, I mean you could. You go like really crazy and do this express dot request express dot response uh, and this is technically an express handler function. I don't know if that comes with the express dot and I don't know, but I personally think that that's a little overkill since. We're only going to be defining these functions um, here, and we know what it's supposed to be. Uh, adding types to other variables that are prone to, for errors is where TypeScript comes in handy. So that should work. This doesn't have to be async, I don't think. I think that's fine. Yeah. All right. Um, so let's clear and status of everything. We're going to add it all. Git commit initial commit clear. And then I'm actually just going to post this onto GitHub. Um, so let's, yeah, let's do that. GitHub, new repository, um, TS groceries, web API, um, using node and TypeScript, node express. And we're going to also add um, type orm. In here, and Postgres. Oh God, go away. SQL. In and uh, type form mostly because I want to show off how decorators are used, and Postgres just because we need a database to to use the ORM. Express a node. I'm sure you're most familiar with already. And all right, create repository. Let's do this. Add. Go ahead. Now we push and. All right. So. This repository is going to be available for you to uh, follow along. Um, I don't know if I, how to use the tag, so well, we'll see. Just follow along with the commits, and you should be um, on the same steps as I am. Okay, I'll see you guys next time.